Ah, the complex dance of public transit. Shall I place my foot there? Can I glance here? Do I put my bum there? You may think you have free will, but you're following the dance cues of the guys and gals who actually design the cars, the engineers. Every public transit agency in the world spends serious time thinking about what their cars will look like and why. It's not time wasted because every minor decision they make about design impacts everything from user experience to how many people can comfortably ride the bus or train. Soon residents traveling between Oakland and San Francisco will have a totally new experience. The Bay Area Rapid Transit Agency, known affectionately or unaffectionately as BART, will be rolling out new rail cars. Like all good things, it began with a litany of complaints. The single most common comment we got was people wanted to see adequate seating, so that became a guiding principle behind our design. There is no shortage of seating layout options. New York City is all about bench style. Personal room, nil. But at least you can squish more people in. Bart went with the opposite. One of the things that we noticed is quite often we saw a row of people seated in the Bart train subtly leaning away from each other, uh, reflecting the fact that most Bart riders ride solo. And so we wanted to, in our design process, to find some personal space for the typical commuter. That observation lines up with other research. People hate sitting between strangers. They also hate being forced to make eye contact with them. The new BART cars don't make riders do any of these things. In fact, they were designed with different sections for different types of riders in mind. For short trippers, for long haul commuters, for cyclists, for those in wheelchairs. Designers also choose the best positioning for standing riders. BART has new poles by the door. Hang on, short people. There's one more door per car now, so maybe riders will be less paranoid about missing their stop. BART hopes the redesign will allow more people to ride on the cars. It will also be an expanded size to accommodate the ever-increasing uh, passenger loads that our trains have. Every train will be a 10-car train that's going to and from San Francisco during commute periods. Happy squeezing, riders!